Hey everyone, my name is Sister. Today, I'm going to be playing Vehicle Simulator, and I'm going to show you how to get the X Hawk Mundo badge, which I have gotten on my main account, so that's why I'm on my alt right here, because this one has not have the badge, so I'm going to just spawn in, and let's go get the badge. So, first thing we're going to have to do is go find the yellow Dominus, which is near the off-road racetrack, which I'm going to fly to right now. If you don't have a plane, you can use a car. But I do recommend using the plane since you can get to a high spot that you will need to in this challenge. So I'm going to head over to the uh, off-road track, which is right here. There's going to be a rock with like a piece of grass next to it. I'm going to show you what to do when we get there. So the um, rock area is right here. This is like the, um, I guess you could say like a hangar. And that's where the Dune R Rally challenge is. And right here, there's going to be a piece of grass. All you have to do is just jump, like, fall, run into there, and you'll fall. And then you'll come to an area that looks like this. You'll see, like, a um, flaming campfire or something in here. It's really a Dominus. Right-click, make sure I have it. So, yeah, you want to right-click it first, and then you left-click so that you die. And that way you get teleported back to the surface. If you just left-click, you will not get it. So now we're going to go for the blue Dominus, which is... This location is, is um, fairly hidden. Most people really don't notice it. But what you want to do is I'm going to just get a plane for now because you're probably going to need to get a land vehicle sometime soon. And your uh, default vehicle that you select when you first play the game should be fine. So where you want to go to is this area right here that's underneath the Bloxy Wood sign. You want to go inside here. There's going to be like a little hole in the left of the tunnel if you go from this way or the right if you go from the other direction. So once you go down here, you want to come in plane's gonna blow up I'm gonna spawn a default vehicle and we're just gonna go to this area so you can see right here it's closer to um this side the the other side closer to the quarter mile race there's gonna be a little hole right here you want to go through the hole and just walk through this tunnel and once you make it through the tunnel, you're going to be here with a waterfall. Now this part's going to be a little bit tricky. You want to go inside the waterfall. Right here. There's going to be a little hole somewhere over here. You want to go through and you see I'm going through a tunnel. And now we're going to end up over here. For some reason we died. So we're going to try this again. Okay, so once you do make it finally past here, which I finally made it without dying, hopefully I don't randomly die again. I'm gonna come down here. There's gonna be the blue Dominus somewhere down here. So, there we go. I took off all my hats and everything just to make sure that we won't die somewhere random. So, the blue Dominus is gonna be right here in the middle where, like, this random tree trunk is. And what you wanna do is the same as before. You wanna come over here. Right click it, make sure it's right here, there we go, and then you can left click it and it will reset you back to the spawn. Now this next egg is on the top of the mountain, which is why I said you should use um, a pit stunt because it helps a lot, you don't have to like be rock climbing and stuff because sometimes it makes your character fall all the way off the mountain and the plane is a big lifesaver, so if you can, find someone that has a plane, like borrow their plane, tell them to not like randomly respawn it. So what you want to do is come up here. All the way to the top and just jump out whenever you're over the top of the mountain and then now just like fly somewhere down here and the land and want to come down here to the rocky side of the mountain and you want to slowly come down do not touch the dark gray part but touch this part right here and you're gonna see a hole over here now you want to get down here somehow so come over here and let's go in the hole and now whenever you get in the hole, you're going to be teleported here to the pyramid area. What you want to do is climb the pyramid, and I believe the Dominus is inside here. Yes, it is. So, same as before, come over here, right-click it, make sure you have it, and then left-click it. This next item I'm going to get is, um, it's not a Dominus, it's a sword, and it's near the water. To do this one, you should have your uh, audio set all the way to the max. So I'm going to fly over there real quick, and, you, and then we're going to get this item. So 
So what you want to do is just come over here by this rock over here. And then you just want to like run around until you hear some audio. Okay, so there's going to be a little like indentation on the stone right here. As you can see, you want to be very, look very closely. You're going to see like a little bit of like some mismatching in the grain, the texture. You can see a little bump. You want to step on that and it will play the audio. And then once you hear the audio, you want to come down here to the water. And should be somewhere around here. There's going to be a hole opened up in the floor where it used to be closed. And then all you want to do is just fall in here and you're going to land in some water. And now you want to come to the middle rock and right click the sword. Make sure you have it. And this one will not reset you. So if you click left it won't. So you, you have to like manually reset and you'll be back at the spawn. And after this we can go click on some buttons because we have managed to get all four items needed for the quest. So the first button we're going to go to is on the top of the radio tower near Bloxy Wood sign. So we're going to get a plane. And we're just going to fly near the roof of that. Hopefully we can land on the top or like the bottom area. I'm going to show you how to do it without the plane because you can do this either way. If you are a plane, it's going to be much more tricky to land on the roof. So I would recommend doing it this way even though we have a plane. So whenever you land here, you're going to have to come around to the back of this area. There's going to be like two um, garbage cans. You just want to climb up one of them. Either one should work. And then you want to climb up this um, truss in the middle of the tower. And once you come to this area, you want to go turn around 180 degrees. There's going to be another truss on this side. And you do not want to fall off. And just want to climb this one until you reach this area. And once you hit this area, there's going to be a little button right here. You want to right click it. It will turn black, and once it does, reset. And the next button we're going to go to is going to be somewhere in the city. So I'm going to fly over there real quick in the plane. Here we go. It's going to be over here by a construction site. If you guys don't know where it is, you can look on the mini-map and try to find it for yourself. It's going to be right here near the highway. There's going to be a crane here. You want to just jump out. And it's going to be like somewhere back here. So right here we can land. Come down here. It's going to be like on the truss. I believe it's the third one from the south side, I believe. Yeah, that's south. So there's going to be a purple one. You want to right click it. It'll turn black. And once you do, you can reset. And the next one is a green button, which is going to be... It's going to be like near where we got the thing at the top of the mountain. So let's go over here and go to the roof of the mountain. A plane is very, very useful for this one. And once you're on the roof of the, the mountain, jump out of the plane. You want to come around here. There's going to be one of these rocks. It's going to have a green button on there. It's going to be hiding somewhere. Just want to run around here and see where it is. So it's going to be hiding about right here. We're going to face the city where the crane is. There's going to be a little, little green button. Right click that and you should be good and then reset. The next one we're going to go to is the blue button, which is going to be near the, the shipping area. It's like near a wooden dock, something along the west coast of Bloxy Wood, which apparently was what the city's called. So let's go up here and go land this plane on this dock. And once we do reach the end, there's going to be some stairs over here. You want to climb down these stairs and go on this platform. You want to zoom out this way and you're going to see... A blue button on the second pillar from the side of the stairs. Right click this, it will turn black, and you can reset. Now this final one is going to be in the shipping yard. It's the yellow one. And after you do this one, the teleporters, I mean the portals that lead to a teleporter will open up. And we can get the badge. So what you want to do is come over here towards the shipping yards. There's going to be an area where there's two of them like parallel and they like stick out. I believe it's this one right here. There's going to be a ramp on the end of them. Want to just jump off the plane, you can see there's going to be a red container with its door open. And once you get here, you want to come over to the red one and go inside. There's going to be a yellow button right here. You go in here and right click it. Now you can hear some music. I'll turn the sound up. You can hear this sound. That means that the teleporters have opened. And when you hear this sound, you can reset. Now that you hear the sound, we can go to the teleporter, so what you want to do is you can get a plane or a car. It doesn't really matter for this one, but you want to come over here. Let me get the plane off the ground, and come on plane, you can, you can do better than this. 
So what you want to do is come over here around this um, fancy loopy car racetrack, whatever it's called. There's going to be a little hill around here near the soccer stadium, and it's going to have a teleporter on it. And as you can see, the teleporter or portal, whatever you want to call it, is open. There's going to be five of these flames, and you want to be very careful to not fall into the lava. And once you do make it in here, you want to come to the center and take out your sword. Click the center area, your sword should be here. And now what you want to do is click on each Dominus. The blue one, I believe, goes here. The green one goes in the middle. And the yellow one goes wherever it is. Come on, quest items. The yellow one will go on that guy. And then the teleporter will open up. You want to be careful. Go in here. And boom, you get the badge right there. You're on like the moon, and you're going to be jumping. At this point, you can um, unequip the Dominus, and you have gotten the badge once you see that notification. And then once you do here, you can either stay here or reset. And on here, there's really nothing that special. If you're at this island, there's going to be like this heroic, like successful, mission accomplished music playing. So yeah, basically there's nothing really to do over here. Once you're done, we can just reset. And there's the end of the music, and let's go back to the mainland. So that is how you get the um, X Hawk Mundo badge. And once you do get the badge, you cannot do it again. So if you want to show someone, you're going to have to make an alt account and repeat the steps here. So if you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and this is um, as of the update of September 30th, so all of these map features, if you are playing fairly like close to whenever I release this video, should be fine. So if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.